Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. We're at the sales barn and we had to park way in the back because we're late today. Way in the back. We have to walk all the way up there. See what they got. Alright, that was a bust. We quickly went in and there was uh, cows, no goats, sheep, normal stuff. But no horses, so that was a quick in and out and nothing there. And we couldn't go in the bottom because uh, they're running the animals through. And that's what happens when you're late. When you're there early, you can go through. But we didn't, when you're there, when the auction's going, they're running all the animals through the aisles and stuff. So, couldn't get in there. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Sam is headed out. Ellie, stay here. All of our vehicles have had a checkup this summer. The only one that hasn't had a checkup is our horse trailer. So, he is taking it, actually he's not taking it, he is taking pictures of some work he wants done down to a place that he found that he thinks will be able to do the work. So he's just showing them what he needs done and then they're going to approve it or disapprove it and then he'll take the trailer in, if that makes sense. Barely made sense to me. It is gorgeous out today. The rain the other day brought this amazing cool air. Um, still the horses are inside, I don't know why. I'm super grateful that they can come in this barn though. Like so super grateful you guys. Come on, let's go. Come on Ellie, Ellie's not scared. <laughs> Ellie is our bravest dog and she's our most energetic dog. Isn't that crazy? Like all the breeds we have, she's the crazy one. And look, that's Posey digging up the ground. <laughs> Is everybody coming with us? Come on now. <laughs> everybody but Molly and Kirby. They're both scared. You're my brave girl, Ellie. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Hi, Posey. Hi, baby. Aw. I thought she was coming to me, but she was. Oh, she was. She was. Hi. <laughs> what in the world? What's, you're okay. Here, here. Sit in there, sit in there and you'll be safe. She doesn't like to be safe, but she doesn't. Also, she doesn't like the goat. <laughs> so we must have had to go back with the dogs. Are they not coming? They don't look like <laughs> To be honest, this is my, oh. Don't walk in front of me, Piggy. This is my favorite thing. I love like walking through the animal field. And then everybody just following us. Except, come on, move Piggy. Um, I don't know what happened to Sophie. She was bringing some dogs, but then the dogs got afraid, of, got scared of the goats. Because the goats have horns. There is still a tons of grass in this field, but I feel like the horses don't spend as much time out here as they could. Ellie, get over here. <laughs> the only one that made it this far, you guys. The only one, little piggy. And then here come the girls. <laughs> and so we have to get a leash for her puppy. Because, well, for Sam's puppy. <laughs> you made it, Molly! <laughs> Anyway, so uh, everybody, I can hear like chainsaws going, so much noise in the neighborhood. And I think it's because it's so cool, everybody wants to work. I think it's so cool. I think everybody is out working today because it's so cool. And the job we're gonna get done is this. I wanna take all these and throw them in my garden because I just, I'm tired of weeding. How'd she do? The goats are coming. <laughs> you had to chase her everywhere? <laughs> She's introducing them to the herd to the goats. <laughs> I don't know what she's mixed with, but let me tell you, it's something. Ellie! Look, can you guys see her? <laughs> the grass is so tall. Look at that, just like that. The horses heard all the commotion and now they're up there on the hill. I don't know why they don't come over here, it's so weird. Hey 
All right, well, that was fun. Wait, were you I think we're gonna have to get Sam to come and bring the truck in and we'll have to fill the truck because look at how cute my piggy is. Six. Because I don't think I can, like that's gonna be a hundred wheelbarrows, even though it looks tiny, it's just so, it, our wheelbarrow is not big enough. All right, let's go. <laughs> You're the leader. She's the leader. <laughs> That's so funny. We teach our dogs to stay away from the goats and from the horses because we don't want them to get hurt. Oh no, look. <laughs> She's like, you left me. <laughs> They're all so excited to see the new member. It's funny how much they like pay attention though. Like you would think that just one new dog, a little tiny puppy, yeah. even come close to like being on their radar. Sophie thinks that Lola would adopt her. Your pigs. My pig is playing with his, with his, with her best friend. That's her best friend, you guys. Lola, why are you eating wood? <laughs> They're so cute. Yeah, she's not at all afraid of the chickens and the goats, or the chickens and the turkeys, and there's a whole lot more of them. A turkey chased her. Yeah, she just sits there and watches, and then the turkey, she turned around and walked away, and then a turkey chased her. Look, that's your new friend. Good girl. Tell her good girl. Good girl, Kirby. Good girl, you're okay. Pigs don't bite. Yeah, pigs are gentle. Don't eat my wood chips. They're looking for the leaves. Do you know what she wants to do? Has to do? Yeah. Sure. So if she wants to drive the truck down there, you just can guide her. Don't let her run over any animals. Where's the uh, shavings going? We're gonna put them in the back of that truck and they're going in the front garden. The front garden? Yeah. So we've been training the puppy. So this is the problem, is that I've dug this thing out like three times already. Like, I mean dug this sucker out and it just keeps building back up and it's annoying. Like literally the most annoying thing ever. Better to do this when it's not sunny and hot, but it's looking better. And that whole wheelbarrow only did like a tiny bit of this garden and I could use like a lot more. I'm going to wait for them to bring the next load for me. They're going to fill up the back of Sam's truck. But what's exciting is that Sam, is that Gabby wanted to just, Sam was gone. She didn't know he had the truck. And she said, I'll just go up and get the truck. You guys open the gate for me. Like, I love that she's excited to pick up that role, that like driving the truck and doing all that kind of stuff. Because we need somebody that, that likes to do that kind of stuff in our family. Somebody besides Sam. But now I have wood chips in my foot. <laughs> wood chips in your shoe is not a fun thing, you guys. I really need to take on this garden and, and like really dig the whole thing up, get rid of all the plants. But there's some peonies in there that I love. So I kind of just let it go. I have so many things to decide to work on each year and this garden was the last of my worries. So I'm hoping that these wood chips will be like uh, something to tide it over until the spring and then I'll get into it. It'll be like my number one project early in the season but it's because you want the front. The front actually does look nice. From the road you can't see all those weeds. It just looks like it's clear and then a bunch of bushes. So but still I want it to look nice when people come up to our house. One of my favorite flowers ever, well not really, oh shoot, I keep dragging them out. Every time I take out, every time I take out weeds, it pulls these things out because they're not very dug, they're not very, they're pretty shallow in the ground, but these are hens and chicks. These are hens and chicks, they might be called something different where you live. I don't really like them in this garden, but I love them and they, they like this garden. I've never seen hens and chicks grow this beautifully all on their own like this. It takes like a very specific kind of environment for them to be healthy and they are doing so well. 
Keep going, sister. <laughs> Gabby pulled up and she's like, that's it? I think we got too much. <laughs> but trust me, there's a whole lot more garden that it can go in. Good job, Gabby. <laughs> She's got a big smile on her face. I can see in there, see her in the mirror. Uh, you, you'll be shocked how much this little garden will take. Me. She killed us. <laughs> she killed you. And Molly. Oh, only one dog left. Start shoveling it off. Right in the middle there. Just cover up those weeds. All right, I'm not done, <laughs> but I'm getting there, you guys. It's a huge pile, so I'm able to put it all along here, and then I'm able to put it over there. I'm just taking my time getting it from here to over there, but I'm going to finish it. But not this second, I need a drink. Is there any more left? Whoa, oh, yay, I have another plan for it. Oh, hello, lady. Hello, ladybug. Oh, I need a drink. That is freezing cold water. All right, so I was looking at this. Did you guys know that you can see so much more on like in a camera, in a picture than you can, or in a video than you can when you're just kind of watching? I can't see it with my eye, but I can see it in the camera. So this should be completely level. What does it look like to you? I don't know. It looks like it's a little bit It looks like it's a little bit leaning forward, so I'm gonna have to adjust that here. Um, it's hard to tell. Do you guys see it? How? Well, that's why we need our training to do it. Yeah, I'm. So I put one more little tiny thin shim in there. I think it can handle two. But I'm gonna leave it. It looks a tiny smidge better. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong spot. I'm looking like right. I'm looking right here. Maybe I need to be looking. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna let the trainer figure it out. But I added an extra. And the other thing that I have to figure out. So the other thing I have to figure out is that um, what happened at the last show. And I kept saying I think the saddle isn't right because. Um, we added a show pad. So a show pad is so much uh, thicker than like the regular pad that she wears. So I feel like it added extra girth and I didn't feel like she liked that. So I'm going to look for an extra thin show pad. I don't know I, I, if you have any links for an extra thin show pad, please send it to me. <laughs> her shoe was loose. You thought her shoe was loose? I dreamed her shoe was loose. Oh, don't dream that stuff. But it's good. Uh, I know it's before the show because I I said well, the fairy needs to come out before the show. Oh, man. That was a bad dream, Sophie. Sophie has the same kind of dreams as me. Yeah. Can I have to take this out of the Yeah. Like I said before, I'm going to have the um, trainer come and assess and then, once the trainer looks at it and sees how well this we did, heavy. I know. Once the trainer looks at it and sees how well we did, then I'm gonna have the saddle fitter come back out. I just don't wanna call her and have her come back out so soon if we don't have it, like, at least in the ballpark. But Lady did a lot better. Changed Sophie's position so much, I said. Well, she was riding her the other day. You could see that it did change Sophie's position, but it still looks like she needs to lower her stirrups just a tiny bit. And I suggested it. <laughs> when she, hey, my stirrups are fine, man. I suggested it when she was riding. And there's that's just one thing about my hunter jumper girls. They like a short stirrup. Like that is their comfort area. They love a short stirrup. I like a longer stirrup. Anyway, I'll have the trainer assess that too, but I think we're we're in the ballpark, you guys. I was reading that correctional half pads with shims aren't meant to be a long-term thing. They're meant to just, uh, just 
they're meant to be used just in certain circumstances like our circumstance how we need her to build up a bit before she gets a custom saddle so um definitely we're not going to use it long term um hopefully maybe three months max and I think she'll even come around sooner that I think she'll even build up a little bit sooner than that because Sophie has been but well, we're doing our best and we're figuring it out and I love learning so much it's been such a great opportunity every horse that you get gives you opportunity to learn more and more and more and I am loving it it is creepy when you come outside and it's quiet listen not a sound from any animal that is rare I have been starting my fall cleaning you guys it feels like fall is in the air and i found sophie's riding gloves like these gloves they're called kunkel premium show gloves very rarely do you ever find products that last a really long time we've probably had these for three years three years and they're in perfect condition like the only way these would get wrecked gabby's got a little bit wrecked because she chewed them but even with her chewing them they're still in really good condition I'm going to put them in the tack trunk right this second because I definitely don't want to lose them again. Kunkel Gloves and the brand Cowgirl Up With Green has a shirt. Gabby wore it at the beach the other day. She likes to wear long sleeves in the water so she doesn't get sunburn. Ever since she got a sunburn, a bad sunburn at the beach, she likes to wear something with long sleeves at the beach. And so she wore her Cowgirl Up With Green shirt yesterday. She has a couple of them and they're this. They kind of look like shirts from Lululemon. But the thing is about these shirts they, you can wash them a hundred times and they never fade. They never, they never stretch out. They never change. Like there, it's like a brand new shirt and she's had it for so long. Kunkel gloves and cowgirl up with green. Their specific, one specific shirt lasts forever. I know a lot of people believe in brands based on like what's cool and what's in style. I believe in brands based on how well they hold up. Like I like brands that actually hold up and and because they're so expensive like it costs a hundred bucks for a pair of nice riding gloves and then when those gloves don't even last a year it's so frustrating so when i find gloves that are gonna last i'm obsessed with them i'll buy more i will definitely order more of those because i love them august flies by it just disappears so fast and i can feel my garden getting ready to be finished we had a lot of cucumbers this year though so this is my August garden, you guys. It's getting there. Still have a lot of tomatoes getting red. A lot of green tomatoes in there, which I haven't had fried green tomatoes at all yet this year and I really want to. Oh, look, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you running? Oh, here they come. Here comes the herd. Two blonde bombshells. Oh, here comes Willow. <laughs> they all follow in their, their leader lady. Storm's already in there. That's why they came running up. Storm's probably in there. And Penny's probably all the way on the other side of the barn. I love watching them run though. Don't you know that you're beautiful?